you're a god power. Get everything you ever wanted and live the life of your dreams. The Master's Course. Copyright 2010 by Richard Lee McKim Jr. All rights reserved. Let the quest for knowing begin. The Universal Tool Bag The best way to get the results that you want from the universe through the power of resonance is to focus on what you want in its final form. Planning, while beneficial to a point, can sometimes limit your listening power. The universe has special abilities or tools for creating your experience that you do not have access to. These are special properties of resonance that you can benefit from but you cannot plan with them. Let's say that you want to have a store selling widgets <laughs> because every business course in history is always referring to widgets. So thinking that planning to the last detail is the only way to go, you plan everything. You will get a storefront, get a loan from a bank, and get widgets from the widget distributor. You utilize your power of resonance to elicit possible locations from the universe by looking in the yellow pages. How else would you have done it? You then concentrate on getting money from a bank and eventually you elicit a loan from a bank. You then think about getting widgets from the widget distributor because that is your plan and eventually you elicit a distributor who will sell widgets to you. You reflect on your accomplishments and are quite pleased with yourself. You should be, because you did it the only way that you could have imagined doing it. Yes, it is well done. But, like the game show hosts would say, you have done well, but let's see what you could have gotten behind door number two. Less planning and more imagining. If you had spent more time focused on your final goal, as it would be in its final state, you may have elicited very different results. By focusing on a strict plan, you did not allow the universe to use its special bag of tools that are not available to you. If you had thought, I want to have a store of my own in which I can sell widgets, and it doesn't matter how it happens, you might have elicited some more interesting results, including accidents and coincidences. You might have gotten into a small fender bender when a car slammed you from behind. After speaking with the driver of the other car, you find out that she's a real estate broker and she ends up giving you a really great deal on an ideal property, better than the one you would have otherwise had. Then, you are at the store one day picking up some milk when you get the urge to buy a lottery ticket. So you do. That night, you can't believe it. You are the winner. You have won most of the money that you will need to open your store. A couple of days later, you get a call from an old fraternity brother of yours and have a great time talking about the good old days when he asks you, What are you up to these days? You tell them about the store you're going to open and your winnings and that you will be selling widgets. <laughs> he exclaims, I have a brother-in-law whose dad owns a widget factory. I can get those to you at half of what you would normally pay. Wow! What an amazing series of accidents and coincidences that have led to this wonderful result. Of course we know that there's no such thing as real coincidences or accidents. They are all just elicited from the field of all possibilities just as everything else is. It is no different eliciting a great bank deal as it is to elicit a lottery win. 
it is not different bumping into a real estate broker in traffic than it is to elicit one from the paper or by word of mouth. These are all just events and situations that form due to the resonant frequency that elicits and forms them. The only difference is you can't plan accidents or coincidences, and the universe can. When you are focused on getting the money from a bank, rather than just focusing on getting the money in general, you limited the universe's range of possibilities. As a result, you could only and would only notice options from banks, as that was the only thing that you were eliciting from your thoughts. However, if you were focusing more on the final result of the exact amount of money that you wanted, could have elicited an untold number of different options that may have been much better than what you could think of. What we call coincidences and accidents are actually a couple of powerful tools in the universe's bag of tools and techniques. It is important to realize that you cannot plan an accident nor can you arrange a coincidence, but they do happen every day. You can't say that while I'm waiting in line at the grocery store tomorrow, I will just happen to meet a person who can help me find a job. You can't say that on Monday, I will be working in the kitchen when I accidentally cut myself and when I'm looking for a bandage in the house, I will find something that has been lost for years that I needed to find. You can't plan those kinds of events. But it is those kinds of events that usually bring more powerful results than the straightforward kinds. How do you take advantage of these wonderful universal tools? Simple. Just know that everything is working out for you and that anything can happen. Some people prefer to word it as, God works in mysterious ways. As far as our widget store example, have a normal plan, but... Also be on the lookout for other possibilities. If you have a car wreck or knock someone over at the store, why did that happen? What could this be? By keeping your thoughts on your final and ultimate goal, you keep resonance acting on it instead of the intermediary steps. For instance, you might want a pay increase because you want to retire early, but you are so focused on the pay raise as the only option to the point that other possibilities that could have happened didn't. The lottery ticket that you bought is a loser because you are focused on the pay increase and not the early retirement. In short, know that while you have the power to attract accidents and coincidences into your experience for the good or the bad, you cannot plan them. Whether or not they turn out good or bad will depend on either the positive or negative group of possibilities that you are resonating with and or the meaning that you give the accident or the coincidence when it occurs. Most importantly, keep your mind and thoughts focused on the main outcome that you want and not as much on the steps to get there. Let those reveal themselves as you go. The only exception to this rule is that it is always about the experience. So if you want some of the particular steps, then by all means, focus on those and elicit them into your experience. In short, focus on the most important points that you want first, and then focus on the rest in order of their importance. To continue, go to How to Use Your God Power, Chapter Number 11, Segment Number 23. Let your quest for knowing continue.